Okay, thank you, Gloria. Okay, uh, there is an image on the screen. Can you can you see it well? Fernando, no, but I, I'm gonna give you the microphone. I'm gonna give you the microphone, but first I want you to tell me if you can see this the picture on the screen exactly in this part. You have the controls. Yes. So you can see the microphone, and I'm gonna give it to everyone. I'm gonna start with Gloria. It's the first one. So I give it. A, I'm giving the control to Gloria, and a, Gloria has a microphone. And then I'll give it to Cesar. Yeah. Thank you, Gloria. Welcome. Okay, and then Cesar, you need to give the permission to the microphone. I'm not using the webcam because it takes a lot, uh, a lot of uh, the bandwidth. So usually in the sessions, I use the microphone and the interactive board that is on, on the screen on the left. I guess Cesar is not giving the permission for the microphone. I'll give the microphone to Fernando. Cesar, you had a microphone? Wait, what? And I'm giving the microphone to Amalia at the same time as Fernando. Okay, guys, you have the microphone at the top of the screen. If you click, if you click on the microphone, it is blue. Click on it, and then you're going to mute it. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Fernando. Gloria, could you please mute it? When you need it, you unmute it. Thank you, Gloria. Amalia, I'm giving you the microphone, but I don't know what's wrong. It is taking too long. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to ask you a question. Is this the first time you have a session like this? Okay, it seems that it is for everyone. Well, welcome to, an, uh, to the 21st century, guys. These are the tools we must use every day. Amalia, something is wrong with the, your microphone because it is not accepting, you're not accepting the microphone. But anyway, okay, guys. Uh, so you have the picture on the screen, and then you can see it. Uh, that I printed the screen before the session started and I'm gonna show you this that you already know let me take this picture let us repeat it okay guys uh, I'm sure that you the sound is funny Gloria is it, is it the same for everyone? Cesar, Fernando, Amalia? Gloria, I need you need to shake your microphone. Maybe it's not well plugged, or maybe you are using speakers. If you if you listen to an echo, it's because someone is using speakers, not using microphones. I mean headset, headphones or earphones. It's a headset. Fernando? Yes, Fernando, you're right. Someone is not using headphones. I cannot listen to the echo because I'm speaking. But if you listen to the echo, it's because somebody is using the speakers. Okay. And uh, I have a question for you, Gloria. Are you using Mozilla Firefox? Okay. Do you still hear the echo? 
something's wrong because if Cesar and Fernando cannot listen to the echo, maybe it is your computer. Are you using an iPad? Okay, thank you, Fernando. It's a laptop, Gloria. Is that a netbook? It's a laptop. Okay. Well, something's wrong because... Okay. Can you see the picture on the screen well? Okay, thank you, Cesar. Yes, you're right. Remember to have only one screen open okay guys netiquette have you ever heard about netiquette before no yes okay excellent well I'm going to go to the next slide. And this is similar to the first picture I showed you. This is the working area. We have the screen. And on this interactive board, you can use as a board. You can, for example, I'm going to give Gloria the rights, the controls to use the pencil. If you go, for example, to the left of the screen, you have a pencil. Uh, yes. Excellent. I'll give it to Cesar. I'll give it to Fernando and also to Amalia. That means that you can use this interactive board for, I don't know, drawing using something like for example icons or emoticons they call it okay and then we have a uh, we have the the chat that you're using already okay let me continue then we have uh, as I said we're not using webcam because it takes too too much of the bandwidth so we can use the tools with the whiteboard we can use the chat and also we can use the microphones you already have the control for the microphones I'm gonna take the control for the board because we don't need them I mean we don't need the board now and let me start with this session with this simple question Calamio do you find any advantages well you had the four questions on the, on the screen but I will ask you to give me the answer with the first one you can unmute the microphone and you can use it Remember the session is for you, not for me. So please guys, you can unmute the microphone and start using it. Okay, I listened to Gloria, but it was kind of a coming and going, and I I listen to the echo now. I'm listening to the echo. Fernando, you can use the microphone. Tell us something, please. Uh, okay, um, the advantages of this uh, of this program is that uh, students. Uh, Everywhere they can they can uh, join a class and have a class in a, in a very um, like interactive way uh, without um, spending money and 
buses or have to uh, go anywhere to to participate in in, in uh, a, a class of this nature. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Well. Can you please tell us about the advantages of using Calamio? You hear me? Hello? Can you please tell us the advantages for using Calamio, the ebook designer? Yes, but can you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay. Well, advantages of Calamio, I would say that it, it draws a lot of attention. So it's a very nice and creative way uh, to get students to give you their full attention. It's something nice, new to use in the in the classroom. Okay, thank you. And the next question: Is it really practical to use Calamio in the classroom? I'm sorry, it is my. One of my son's cell phone. Give me a second, please. Armando! I'm sorry. It's because I'm I'm here and the, they're upstairs and, and they cannot listen to me. But anyway, I'm sorry. These are these advantages of having a family sometimes. Okay, so is it really practical to use Calamio in the classroom? I mean, if we don't have internet in the classroom, is it practical? Gloria? I believe, yeah, I believe it's a very practical uh, platform to use. If, imagine if we have the ability to use it with our students. I don't have this opportunity because I work at schools. It's totally different. practical because we can um, use a lot of exercises, we can uh, use interaction, and it's a very, a very innovative program, so it is very useful because we can practice a speaking and uh, I'm sorry, Fernando, could you please mute your microphone if you don't use it, go ahead, use it please. Um, I don't know. Yes, I agree with Fernando. I barely heard you, Gloria. I don't know why. The voice was what, like going out and coming. Fernando, I'm sorry. I, I muted the mic your microphone. You had the controls now. Okay, Fernando. Sorry, uh, I heard a lot of echo. Now, well, this. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear just like sound like a lot of ago, but now it's it's cool. Um, the the disadvantages of of using Calamio, for example, in 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 a normal classroom, it's always the uh, the uh, the typical that disadvantages are uh, like uh, budget or or wiring technologies or or a lot of a lot of um. um how can I say this? A service that they that this equipment has to have, and um, in in specifically Calamio, it's uh, it's a it's a good tool, but sometimes technology can 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 um, fail in some way, and can be crashed or something, and then that's gonna be a, a a problem for 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 me as a teacher using it in a classroom. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Cesar? Fernando, can you please mute your microphone? Thank you. Cesar, do you see any disadvantages? A disadvantage for Calamio? Honestly, I don't, I don't see any disadvantages except maybe for the school having a disadvantage. Like maybe the school, like Fernando said, there's no money for the computer, the projector, or etc. 
or like the internet. You need inter internet to use it if you don't download your uh, presentation, I guess. But in my case, uh, where I teach, we use a special software with our book. So I have to use a projector and a computer every single day. And so far this semester, I mean, I run into little problems, but it's not something that I can't fix right away. So now that I know how to use this, I'm actually going to use it in a lot of my classes because I found it very, uh, well, I don't know, I like it. I think it's really nice and I want to use it in my classes along with a couple of other things that uh, we saw during the face-to-face. -face. So that's, I think that's the only uh, disadvantage. Mm hmm Okay. If the school can't afford it or, or doesn't have the... I'm sorry, I lost you. Are you listening to Cesar? Hello? I'm sorry, it's because uh, suddenly... Can you guys hear me? And now we can listen to you, uh huh? Okay, another question. Oh, uh, well, basically what I said was that the only disadvantage that I could see... Okay. Okay, guys, have you heard about a, uh, what a blog is? Blog, B L O G. It is on the screen, sister. Yes, have you heard? Does anyone know what a blog is? Can you tell us, Fernando, Cesar? the microphones can you guys hear me okay. yes mm -hmm. uh, I heard blog before um, I know that it's online obviously blog um, I guess it's a, it's a place that it, it's kind of like a I don't want to say a diary or, or or maybe like a journal where you write experiences, stories, and things like that? Uh-huh. Yes, you're right. Okay. What am I asking you this? Because uh, in, in the fourth week, I'll tell you about getting a blog. Do you have a blog? Do I have a blog? Is that what you said? Uh-huh. Yes, all of you. No, actually, I don't. Yeah. I don't keep a blog. Okay. As I said, in the fourth week, I'm going to give you some uh, instructions to get a uh, free account and have a blog. But we're going to use the blog for different purposes, and we're going to give the blog a different use. A more, in my opinion, a more didactic pedagogical use for example uh, I use the blog for my students I upload the content of a lesson and then students go and check it and do exercises and they don't have to pay anything they don't have to get an account they just go to the blog see the activities do the activities and that's it really simple but that's gonna be in the fourth week in the middle of this course Okay, let me continue if you don't have any questions. Let's talk about 
a little problems. Okay, Fernando, excellent. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Use the microphone, please, Fernando. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've used um, a blog a long, a long time ago to, to upload uh, some classes, some homeworks and, and, and activities like work worksheets in PDF uh, to uh, to in, in the same university I used to work but um, we have to go teach to a far to a far uh, extension of the of the university you know it, it, like choix choix and then <coughs> they, they, we couldn't go every day so every Friday and Saturday was the classes so from Monday to Thursday, I used to to have this blog and a wiki and a wiki space uh, where I d upload uh, homeworks and also videos, not from not not about me, but uh, other teachers in YouTube teaching uh, a topic that I was about to teach on the weekend. So that was very useful in some way. Uh, we start we start uh, att attending those classes. But during that time, it was it was a very useful tool for me, and that's it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amalia. You have the microphone. Tell us something about it, please. Uh, what you say? Uh, you said that you also have used. Uh... Oops, Amalia. Yes. Are you using? Speakers or a headset? I using the speaker of my computer. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to mute because that's the echo. I know who's. Do you have headphones, Malia? Yeah, teacher. Okay. No, you cannot. Uh -uh. Sorry. You need to use the headphones, your headphones or earphones or headset, because the problem is that the speakers produce this very annoying echo. Okay. In the meantime, let's continue. Oops, sorry. Okay, uh, I was telling you about some, I found some technical problems. And don't feel bad, this is only to help you. For example, you can notice in this uh, ebook, in the second line where it says the United States, you can see something like click to edit master or something like that. Why uh, happened this? Because uh, we didn't choose uh, the blank slides design. So make sure you have the blank uh, slides design when you are using this kind of Calamuse. Why? Because whatever is on the screen is going to be uh, on your Calamuse, on your book, and your ebook. Yes? And also, uh, in the same presentation, you can see, for example, here, uh, you have the, the picture, and we cannot see the numbers. Well, there are too many solutions for this. The first one, we can make the picture a little bit uh, smaller, or we can click on the white part and make it transparent. There is a function using PowerPoint to make uh, the backgrounds trans transparent. Or, as I said, you can uh, make the, the picture smaller. In this one, for example, I know uh, sometimes we see something and we start using it the best way we can. Yes, but this is, for example, great, but we cannot use Calamio. We can use, can you, is there any echo? Because I don't listen to any echo. Gloria? Well, Fernando and Gloria, maybe it is your, your connection. Okay. 
Okay, so I was I was saying this is great, but remember, students cannot write on the ebooks. This is only to uh, a kind of an expository class. We you can use the ebook to tell students about some concepts, about some vocabulary, drawing, etc. Look at this one. What can you tell me about this one? Info. What do you mean info, Cesar? Use a microphone. Gloria, use it. Yeah, um, it's, it's, my, it's my own work. So what do I use in this? The letters are not clear. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't know, maybe what Cesar yeah. means is a lot of information. Yeah, too much information. And also the contrast the colors, etc. But anyway. Just so you can use the microphone. Um, uh, I just thought there was too much information. Even if you make the font bigger, it's not going to fit all of this slide. You would need like two or three slides. I think, I'm not sure, but I like the picture though in the back. That's that's really nice, a nice background. Just less info, bigger font would be perfect. Thank you, you're right. Yes, uh, can you please tell, type what version of micro, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint you are using? Because I guess, I'm not sure about a new version, but I guess any version allows uh, you to make this kind of a, a, say like a watermark picture. You have the picture, the original picture, you click on it, and then you can have it, I don't know, in different colors. It's, it is called a watermark. Then you can use that feature in PowerPoint. And also, as Cesar said, use two, three, or four slides to get all the information, but not too much information in one in one slide. But anyway, this is the beginning. We're just uh, trying to do things with new tools, and I know this happens to everyone. So, no, do not commit suicide. Let, let me go to the, the next one. For example, Thank you. Uh, what about this one? It's about the same. Yes, we have too much information and we have some rules. For example, I like this uh, this design better. I mean, it's not horizontal, it is vertical. Uh, it's too much information because the fonts are not, I'm, I'm sure that it is about 12 or 14 perhaps, but usually when we design ebooks, we should have about uh, fonts, especially the standard fonts, those are Arial and Times New Roman, and they should be 36 or 48, uh, I mean, big. The font, the size of the font should be 36 or 48. But I like this, yes, this is. Uh, it's going to be, you can redo it by the end of the, the semester. I mean, redo the ebook in with better tips. But usually, as I said, this is the best uh, format for ebooks, vertical. Why? Because the other ones take too long horizontally. And then this one is a lot better. Okay, guys. I was. As I was saying, yes, and if you use uh, the vertical si size, it's kind of a, it is okay because books comes in different ways, like vertically or horizontally, yes, but the best way to use the Academy U, uh application is using the slides in a vertical form. Questions so far?
Another, you can use the microphone. Go ahead, Gloria. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any questions. The only thing I can see is it's very clear that we're going to name every part of the body. And we're going to. Okay, thank you. Okay, wrong connection. Yes, something's wrong. Okay, guys, uh, I left this slide for the for the end of this presentation because I want you to go to a website that is called educaplay.com. You can see it. It is on the screen on in the chat room. And what I want you to do is do a little bit a little bit of research I'm sorry I want you to go to that website and I want you to get a free account because this is the tools these are the tools we're going to use next week Educa Play lets you have about lets you design about 11 different activities if you are on the website you can see if you scroll down you can find uh, that we can help we can design 11 different activities for example that that one uh, about the two the boy and the girl and the parts of the body I will use it with the interactive map you can see if you are at the look at play at the portal at the website you can see that in the types of different activities, you find one that is called interactive map. It could be in Spanish, it could be in English, but anyway, the site lets you design an interactive map. For example, going back to the, to the screen of the boy and the girl, you can have the students click on the parts of the body, and then students will have uh, the activity more interesting for them. In the ebook, it is kind of passive because students only receive information and then cannot play, they cannot interact with the software. At Educa Play, especially interacting in using the interactive maps or mapas interactivos, you can use the same drawing yes and then you will have your students really really interested in doing the activity so for homework please get an, an account a free account and start using educa play especially with the mapa interactivo the interactive map is that possible? Hello, are you there? Thank you, Amalia. Thank you, Sister. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. Thank you, Fernando. Great. Okay, guys. Do me a favor, get an account and start working, start playing with the map interactivo and then we will continue on Monday and we will talk about this Educa Play, Educa Play website next Friday. This is all for tonight because actually it was only the intro, the introductory session to let you know the, the tools we can use at the 
at this platform with a queue and I'm glad you were here. I don't know if you have any questions. We should stop for tonight. Yeah. We should stop here for tonight. Thank you, Gloria. Okay, guys, I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to close this session. Thank you for being here. Have a good night and an excellent uh, weekend. I'll see you on Monday online, and I'll see you next Friday in the second live session. Okay, one, two, Three, good night and goodbye. Ah, los gatos peleando, o sea, haciendo ruido. ¿Llegaste? Ya. Huele como a popó acá abajo.